GI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and we are here today doing the Alpha 8 uh, series that I am now going to start in single player. I'm going to run it on my own custom scenario that I built, and I'm going to actually use my harder planet. Let's select. Um, I'm going to select hard for all the critters crafter speed to be fast uh, blueprint production fast I'm gonna set these to true um, just to force me to spawn it onto a thing of concrete <laughs> whatever uh, okay I'm gonna set these to rich and plentiful and then the rest I'll just leave as normal settings I don't feel like it this isn't Iron Man, this is my single player playthrough, so <clears throat> yeah, I don't have to torture myself. <laughs> okay, so let's start this. We're gonna we're gonna do Helmos and custom with a seed of twenty eighteen. We're gonna set that and we'll do uh, we'll call this Epsilon Row. Okay, yeah, I'll just call it Epsilon Room. That's fine, that's fine. And you know what, since this is my single player playthrough, good enough, good enough, let's just set this. Uh, so that that's what we're gonna do. I'll just show you those settings again. Medium, so I started with medium up here, <clears throat> and then what I did is I changed the ore to rich and plenty critters to all hard settings and construction to fast and the blueprint stuff to true uh okay so let's do this let's start so this is a custom start to this planet too and it has no o2 so this should be interesting It's got some extreme temperatures, so I will be starting with armor. Obviously, you have to. There's no oxygen on the planet, so kind of have to. Be kind of mean to start people on a planet with no oxygen without any armor. It's pretty much an insto death. <laughs> insto death. Okay, and as this loads up. Now, the one thing I have noticed in Alpha 8. The load screen does take much longer now. Uh, I mean, sure, my computer's getting a little bit older, but it's not a slug. It's not. It's not quite a potato yet. Um, it's. It's only a spud yet. It's not a full-grown potato. Okay. Any time here. There we go. Come on. <laughs> Now, granted, this scenario is a lot larger than uh, the default scenario by about five times as large. So, <clears throat> yeah. I think once it generates the planet and generates all the structures on it, it'll be much faster loading next time. So, here's the structures. <laughs> I was just loading the planets. Oh, there we go. It's going to go a little faster here. Good, good. If I'd known this was going to take a bit, I would have, like, you know, skipped this. That's okay. And anytime. Here we go. Don't crash. Yay! And there we go. Our habitat. It's got a light on. And oh my, there's already something over there. Protecting the cobalt. Yes, there's cobalt on this planet. Let's get my light on. Here we go. This is our starter base, which isn't really much of a base. Oh, that guy's coming really close. Oof. That could be a problem. What is he? What is he? Oh, he's on the other side of the mountain? Okay, good. Thank goodness. Let's check our... Uh, personal cargo box so we get uh, drill some biofuel another portable constructor 
and uh, motorbike. Okay, so that's good. Let's get this into our starting equipment, into our, um, load that, load that, we're going to need that and that, from, oh wait, no, I don't want, what am I doing? Let's close that. Let's go into our tab. We're going to load that, load that, put those down there for now. That's good. Put the motorbike down there for now. Okay. Um, I don't really need the spuds on me. So we have objectives that we need to fulfill in the first 24 hours. So if you see right now, it says 442 and it looks like it's nighttime out. Is it seriously nighttime out? It's nighttime. Okay. So that's okay. We have 24 hours. So tomorrow night at 440, critters are going to start spawning again. So we got to look for that time. So we've got 24 hours to do this. Okay, um, I think right now I'm going to concentrate on trying to get some ore and then I'll go try and level up and get some food. Right now we do have some emergency rations, but I think I just want to go race to these deposits, get some silicone copper. Um, oh, there's actually food right here too. Maybe I can get some, get some stuff going here. Oh! I almost forgot. Let's get our survival tool going. That'll come in handy. I don't have a way of actually chopping down trees right now. So I'm going to need this to get the biofuel going. Come on. And, and that's on fast. On slow, it's, it's painful. And it's not even, it doesn't make the game harder. It makes it more tedious and painful. Anyway, I'll get into my uh, rant on, on that later. Um, anyway. <laughs> Let's get what we can. Get what we can. There's lots of vegetables around here. That's good. That's good. I'm going to have to uh, cut that tree down, though. Okay, so to cut down trees with the survival tool, equip it, select defense mode. If you if you see it says use for short range defense, can also harvest wood. So we're going to zap this thing. You notice that it's eating our stamina while we use it. So that's something we're going to have to monitor. Also, we're going to have to get our oxygen down fairly soon. We need to get that planted down when we still have a good... 200 or so oxygen left or else we could end up suffocating so we got some wood now we can actually run our um, oxygen generator on biofuel so so that's good just want to get so we're already level three already level three um yeah player progression even on me medium is not a big deal Player progression doesn't mean anything in the game. It can be on hard. It doesn't matter. You can grind levels. The um, But stuff like construction speed, yeah, that's forever. That's stuck with you forever when you select a slow construction speed. And all that does is slow down the game. It doesn't make it any harder. Anyway, that's my second rant about it. <laughs> Uh, oh, fiber, good. Okay, I guess we're just going to run there on foot because obviously I'm, I'm hell-bent on picking all these vegetables. Which, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm, I should actually get these things crafting. So it's good to know that there's uh, vegetables on this planet that you can pick right away. Just some rocks up here. Okay, so let's let's keep going. Now, keep in mind we still got we still got lots of time. We're doing pretty good. We've already hit level three. That is one of my objectives. Before 24 hours runs out, is hitting level three. I would like to hit level four personally, even level five if I can really push it. And sometimes I can if there's enough stuff to pick. Uh, right now, I don't 
tend to spend a lot of time picking up first. I try and I try and go for the deposits. Because if you pick everything up first, by the time you start mining out your deposits, then uh, you, all your food spoils. So I do that after. But what I can do is, okay, so we're, we're about on it right there. Okay. So let's throw down our constructor. And what I'm also going to do is, because I've got some biofuel, I'm also going to throw down this constructor and I'm going to actually power it up with one biofuel. Okay, I'm also going to put in here my wood and I'm going to get biofuel going. Okay, so we've got biofuel going. I also want to actually start turning some of this stuff into... Flip that over to there. I want to start t turning some of this stuff into food, and I can do that in my survival constructor with energy bars. So let's get some of those going. Um, I won't bother with the vegetable juice yet. Okay, so now those are going. I'm going to spawn my drone and start mining this. So I tabbed in, tabbed out to get my radar back. And we're going to go after this copper here. This has got to reload. And I'll just get it. Wow, is this not actually drilling? Oh, there it goes. It's going to say, what is going on? T1 drills still suck in the game. They, yeah, they still suck. Look at this. Finally. It's like it sits there and does nothing forever. Although it goes through that sh that sand pretty fast. Then as soon as it hits the bedrock again, boop. It just comes to a halt. Okay, come on. What, am I going to fry a whole biofuel just getting to the deposit? Really? Come on. Come on. Wow, this is slow. Okay, so this is ultimately slow. I am going to finish mining this, and then I'll grab you when I'm done. Okay, so we're back, and I have dug quite a bit. Uh, I've gotten myself 204 copper. We are getting, you know, we're about halfway down on our oxygen, so we should go check how that's doing. But I'm going to show you what the copper looks like on this planet. So I modified the color a little bit of the copper. I actually, what I did is I used a different ore for the settings for that ore and turned it into copper. So from a radar standpoint, it's copper. And when you dig it up, it's copper. It looks like this. But the color of it is is completely different. So that I thought that was cool. And I left that. Um, yeah. Let's see how we're doing here. And excellent, let's take these. And that's the purified water. I don't need the purified water so much. If it was working on O2, I would have left it. But how's this doing? Seven. That's pretty good. Pretty good. We're going to have to find more, obviously. Okay, let's grab that. But that gets us going for now. Um, I need more trees or something. More fiber for sure. So I don't really want to smash rocks. Let's is that a tree down there? That looks like a tree down there and a tree over there. Okay, so let's head over there. And we'll pick we'll pick stuff. Pick stuff on the way.
Oh yeah, I can turn my jetpack on. And use my jetpack! Yeah! So, how much of this planet have we got uncovered? Not much. Not much. Got a lot of exploring to do. It's a big planet. It's not the largest of planets, but it's big enough for a starter, that's for sure. What I do know is that it ain't as easy as a starter. There's like large plasma drones and stuff. So level four, nice. Just, I mean, most of the stuff is going to spoil on me, unfortunately. And you can't make biofuel out of spoiled food anymore, which is unfortunate. But you can make it out of trees, which is awesome. <laughs> so, yeah. Spoiled food isn't as great as it was before. You end up with like more than you need by the time you actually need spoiled food. Okay. That was a lot of veggies. Let's make sure that we've still got... So we've got those. Let's eat some of those right now. And we're going to get some more going. Okay. Let's harvest this tree. Come on. Five logs, nice. That'll be ten biofuel. Okay. We'll work our way over to the iron now. And my stamina is going to tank. Right now, let's just do the uh, jump pack thing. The jet pack. The jump pack. <laughs> Yeah, it's getting late. <clears throat> and I'm old. Well, I did hit level 4, so I've already more than accomplished what I need to for player progression at the start. I'm just getting greedy here picking stuff is all. Well, there's definitely enough food on this planet. Wow. And I, I ended up adding orange trees scarcely, but they are here somewhere. Obviously not around here. Okay, let's get this bush. Nice, two more logs. Okay. So we'll do the same thing with this iron. Once we get up to it, we will set up our gear. And close enough. Okay. So let's get this down. And we'll get a biofuel in there. The reason I'm not using a full energy pack is because it's a waste. I won't, I'm going to be picking this up before it, it uses all the biofuel even that I put in there. So um, I'm not going to waste a whole fuel pack. And we'll put this in here and get that going. Okay. And it looks like my suit is constructing stuff. That's good. Okay. Let's get the iron here. So my first objective is already accomplished by getting enough player progression to be able to spawn in what I want. The, why isn't, oh, I'm not on it, that's why. Um, the next objective is to get enough ore. Getting enough ore. And 
If I can get like 200 of the three basic types, that's way more than I actually need. Now keep in mind, time is starting to count down now. Uh, we basically have this full day and then about half the next night before critters start appearing. So, and this one's a very large one. So th these are great. Once I get a HV mine that can mine, I can get a lot of resources from these. Okay, so I am going to grab you when I am done. Okay, we are back. And you can see this is a massive deposit. I've actually, it's still showing 100% or left. <laughs> I've taken a huge chunk of it and it still says 100% left. I've taken 200, 206 and it hasn't even reg registered as 10%. So that's pretty epic. Uh, okay, well, let's see how this thing's doing. And good. We're slowly going down though and not we're not replenishing fast enough because it starts making stupid water. Water. Okay, can I can I change that? Can I change it to just O2? I don't think so. Okay, let's just pick it up. Let's just pick it up. Let's not screw around anymore. We don't have time to screw around. Okay, 14 biofuel. That's good. Um, so, there's silicone there. What I, what I got to start thinking about is the water. I'm going to head down to water. So, I think I need to get this silicone here. <clears throat> so, the one right in front of me. Now, the problem with the silicone on this planet is it comes in those little frickin' gnarly balls under the ground that I gotta frickin' detect with an ore scanner. So, uh, do I have enough crushed stone on me? Maybe. Maybe. No, I don't. I need more silicone. I need silicone and stone. Ah, damn it. Okay. I won't be able to make an ore scanner yet. I don't have the mats. Let's get this tree. But it's okay. I think um, I should I should be able to get lucky. It says it's large, so I should be able to get lucky and and uh, and get it. Now hopefully it's not going to be in line of sight of that drone protecting the cobalt over there. Because that could be a bit of a problem. Because I don't think I can take on if it's like a large plasma drone, I don't think I can do it. I mean I do start in medium armor because well, the temperatures are too high for uh, light armor unfortunately even with one of those heaters you can still end up overheating okay I don't need to pick all these why am I doing that why am I doing that let's just get this level five wow okay so I guess that's why I did it right <laughs> oops missed that one who cares don't need it Let's go get the silicone. I'm gonna run out of. Oops. What was that? That was something cool. Okay, so we have non hostile spawning, but I think they spawn instantly. I don't think. I don't think they actually have a delay timer to them like, like predators do. And if they do have a delay timer, it's it's not very big. Okay, so we're right above it now, and 
Good, that can't see us. Okay, so we're going to be okay here. Um, unfortunately, I don't have an ore scanner, and I'm not going to be able to make one. Let's get this down. Get some more biofuel in there. Okay, good. And we'll get this down. Is there more logs we can, yep. Turn those into biofuel. Um, well, let's see. Will it, will it actually let us? Oh, I haven't unlocked it. It doesn't look like it'll let us anyway. No. No. Need more stone. We might get more stone by digging this up. So let's do it. Tab in, tab out to get my radar back. And... Try finding some of the silicone. I'm gonna need the silicone pretty quick though, because I'm gonna need uh, to make another oxygen tank pretty quick here. I don't think I can keep going at this pace. I'm gonna suffocate. I'll have to make a water generator too and get water going because that'll make oxygen faster, but it only makes the large bottles. So until I actually have something with an oxygen dispenser or a ventilated area, I'm not going to benefit from those large tanks yet. So right now I need a, an emergency one. And I'm just hoping to fluke out and find a nugget. Come on. Uh, you never know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll find enough stone. Although I think it would take what seventy-five stone to make five silicone ore and then that would probably be enough to make the scanner but I'm just not getting stone fast enough either so yeah come on show me a silicone chunk come on come on anytime now just make it appear in front of me. I don't want to have to dig out a huge, huge hole. Come on. Although I might have to make that oxygen thing sooner than later. Let's, uh... Do I need to spec into it? Let's take a look here. generator I think I can do it by my suit already right yeah iron ore co oh I can make one already okay let's do that really quick oops let's do that really quick so we can do that in my survival constructor okay so let's do that We'll go into here, make one of these. I should have got that going a while ago. Damn. Darn it. Shoot. That's okay. That's okay. How's this doing? It's got an oxygen for us. That's good. Grab the water anyway. I mean, the water's handy for stamina and reduce your body temperature by five. It also gets rid of hangover, which... Eh, I don't drink a lot of Kua berry juice, you know, Kua berry wine, so not really a wino. Okay, so that's almost done. We'll grab those. Oh, I shouldn't have put, that's okay. That's okay. Let's eat some of that. You know what, since those are the same now, let's just go like that. Get those going. So now we've got a second one. So I really need to 
get that down, I think, right now. And I'll, come on, put another biofuel in this one. Okay. We've already got stuff spoiling on us, see? Crazy, eh? Crazy. Okay, let's start keep mining. Try and find this silicone. Find a chunk of silicone anyway. So it does make it a little difficult off the start. So even though it looks like a Care Bear scenario, it's it's not. It's not. It's, I'm almost out of daylight too. That's and I haven't even got silicone yet. I haven't even found a place for a base. So yeah, even though you start with everything you need to get going, it's still. It's still tough. Come on, give me one nugget. One nugget. On, on a big deposit, one nugget might be enough. Come on, make a nugget up here. Come on, nugget. Nugget, give me nuggets. I know it's a little crazy making people mine silicone with an ore scanner, but hey, it just adds a little bit to this planet. It makes it a little bit more unique. Oh, oh! Is that a nugget? Two hundred and fifty. Woohoo! <laughs> That's all I needed. That's all I needed. Okay, we're good enough. Let's get out of here. Um. How's this doing? That's done. We'll grab that. Grab that. We'll grab that. Another oxygen. It's about to make water. How's this one doing? It's got oxygen. It's about to make water. Okay, so we we got to get flying. Let's just pick these up. And I think what we want to do is we want to find the, so there's water to the south. So we want to head south. Okay, let's get our motorcycle down. Because now it's about, we got to, we just got a booker. We're running out of time now. Time is becoming our enemy. So I just want to get to the water wherever that may be. Hopefully there's there should be more trees and stuff. Oh yeah, look at that. It's it's a forest down there. Perfect. Okay, let's head over there. Oh yeah, we'll get lots of biofuel. <laughs> this will be no problem getting biofuel. Huh. Let's um Okay. So Okay, we got to we got to find a good spot. I want to actually whoops. Whoops. I didn't mean to bump my F key. F U F key. Okay, so I want to actually kind of find a. This is kind of bizarre. It's almost like alien looking, eh? This is cool. I like this vegetation. Hmm. What, I, what I want is like water right up to a mountain. Maybe over there? Yeah, let's go around. Let's go around here. I gotta get these oxygen down pretty quick too. We can't, we can't be screwing around and stopping to smell the roses. We can't stop and mine anything. I just want to get to a good spot to build. Uh, maybe back there. Actually, look at that. Yeah, I think so. Let's turn around. Let's turn around. Yeah, it looks like it. It looks like the water comes up to this hill over here. Okay. Oops. 
Oh, come on. I should have just jumped that. Really? And we're almost out of daylight. And how, yeah, yeah, see this, I should have just, I just should have went here, right here. I was already where I needed to go. Look at this, there's water with a mountain right there. Okay, let's get off the bike. And just in case stuff starts spawning already. I don't think it will. I think we still got time. But I'll get as much of this as I can. Ooh, some buds. Nice. Come on. No, that's not buds. Okay. So we need to get the trees. Because I need the biofuel. That's how I'm going to power up everything. And I need it to uh, drill with too, so. Let's just get these trees really quick here. Now I gotta create a fence pretty quick. So as soon as I finish off with these trees up here. Come on, come on, jeez, okay. So let's get down here and start figuring out where we're gonna dig in. We dig in right here. We dig in right here. Yeah, okay. So let's get our um, oxygen generators down really quick here before we suffocate might as well put two in for now of e on each one because I'm going to be here a bit drilling okay and then we'll throw down constructor good enough and we'll put our wood in there and get that going and then the other constructor because we have two one we started with and one we looted from the container. This one I'm going to get a base starter built and is that on or off? Is that on now? That's on. Okay. And then a bunch of concrete blocks so we should be able to get at least a hundred. Okay. Okay. So while those are cooking up and the temperature's okay, the temperature's okay. And we've got two going now. We should be able to stay on top of our oxygen. Let's start drilling in. So I'm actually gonna make a bit of a base underground, more more like the spawn pad underground. Um, I'm probably not gonna make up a powered base and I don't think I'll need to, but we'll see. So let's get this going. I'm gonna drill in. And yeah, so I will keep working on drilling this out and I will be right back. Okay, we're back. So you can see that I have dug a hole. <laughs> Yay, I dug a hole and uh, really don't don't fall down there. Don't don't fall down. Zia. I can't see the bottom of it, but that's okay. <clears throat> Let's get back up here and aim our avatar in the direction that we want our base's base to be facing. So right about there because I want it sloping up nice and straight. So I'm going to face right there. I'm going to launch the drone. And you can see that I've made in my in my taskbar I have the uh, base starter and a whole bunch of cement blocks. Now I dug this way deep, and you can't actually see outside at all. So this should be a good spot for the core. And whoa, let's sink that down. So we're gonna sink that down. 
like that. And then we're just gonna cover it with some blocks. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach the base. So I'm gonna hit N while looking at it. I should be able to connect to base, yep. And then I'll just hit N again. So now I can put blocks anywhere I want. It doesn't have to be connected to the other blocks touching the core. So that means I can make a fence. And if you look, the time we are down to just a couple hours of nighttime before critters start spawning. So so we got to get this built. So let's do this. Um, hmm. So I need to make a fence. It's going to be, where is it going to be? It's going to be back this far. Up one and back. I'll probably get away with that. Let's do that. And then get that like that. Spawn that across. Get that to there. Okay, so we want to find the center of it facing me. The center of it's right about there. Okay, so that's not wide enough. Not wide enough. Put that to there. We'll pull this over. I haven't made a base in the dirt for a while. The reason why I'm making one in the dirt, in the ground, is because this planet has a patrol vessel. So, I can't just make a nice little fenced-in yard anymore to protect myself. I'm going to have to dig underground for starters to uh, give myself at least a chance of survival against the patrol vessel okay how's that looking for width wise so we need this has to come over a little bit more about there okay and then this can keep going We've got 62 left okay so that so let's start bringing this down Without destroying blocks, hopefully. <laughs> Much easier to do when I have the connect to base active because then you can get in under there quite easier instead of having to anchor your, your target against the surface. You can just put it on the ground. So it makes it easier. Okay, and I want to get that right into the water. Okay, we'll just go like that to make it a little better right off the bat. Okay, so let's bring down, ooh, are we going to have enough? Are we going to clear this? Let's, oops, let's not go crazy here. Come on, stop that. I only want a few. There we go. That'll work. Bring that out. There we go. And... That out. Oh, come on. Bring that out. Come on. Get that and that and almost. We're almost to the water. We've got five blocks left. We're in the water. And we've got one block left, but we had more cooking, so let's take a look. Eighty-nine. That's not bad. We could still get some more too. Let's let's get as much as we can here. That can probably do another fifty or forty at least. Yeah, we'll do that for now. Okay, so let's get these blocks in get this fence a little better just a little better nice 
Okay, so that should be fine for that corner now. That's a full block, at least a full block in height. So critters can't, hopefully won't climb it. I'm not gonna say can't climb it, but I'm gonna say hopefully won't. <laughs> okay, so let's shore this up as much as possible. Good, looking good. Okay. Nice. So I think I want to extend this a little bit further. Just to uh, create, create a line of sight block make sure that's all stable come on there we go okay okay so not bad we've got 32 left let's get that across Oops. That's fine. That nothing's that's too high for anything to take advantage of that, so that's fine. Okay. Okay. And that looks like it's out far enough there. Okay. So I've made a little fence around our hole. And what is the time like? So we've got a little bit of time to spare. Not bad, not bad. I think what I'm gonna do is let's grab some oxygen here. Eat, eat some food. Grab that water, and you can see we're, we're, we're actually catching up now with the oxygen, with two oxygen generators. So there we go, we're almost back up to full. So that's happening, but what we need, we need a whole bunch of wood, and I know these things give us wood, so let's, let's go around the other side here. And I'm sure there's probably tons of seaweed and stuff, but I think for now we're just gonna we're gonna we're just gonna get the close by wood before a critter starts spawning. So let's do this. Fence mode. Now these used to give wood in Alpha 7. I'm assuming they will again. Yep, two logs. Okay, good. Good, good. We'll have lots of biofuel then, if these things give wood. Okay. Mm, critters are... it's... Okay, time for me to run away. I think critters are going to start spawning any second here. So, you know, because I am an ultimate coward, and that's what keeps me alive in this game. <laughs> I'll just run away now. We've got some more wood. That's good enough. I can collect these now. Oh! Actually, here, let's finish that off. I just thought of something, though. What I need to do is okay so that's done uh okay i'm not gonna make biofuel right now with that what i am gonna do or is it no yeah i do make biofuel with this one it's the other one that should be done the concrete by now yep 
And now I'm going to start getting it to do some ore. So I'm going to, yeah, let's do that so it can do, One hundred. That's fifty. Two. Okay, I can do yeah, a hundred of each. So that'll be, or sorry, two hundred of each. Two hundred ingots of each. Yeah. Okay. So we'll let that spin up. Eat some of that. There we go. We're happening. I also have a bunch cooked on me and I'll leave those in there. It doesn't seem to go down in your output. It doesn't seem to spoil in your output. So keep that in mind. Can I put this in there? No. You can't put something back in your output once you... Uh... But it's not spoiling in my suit's output. So that's interesting. That's very interesting. Um, you know what? Let's make some buds. Let's make some coffee. Awesome. Okay, so now we can keep laying blocks down. What is our block count here? 51. I want to actually start making a ramp down. Now that we got the fence going, I want to start making a ramp down. And so let's see. Let's see. Wow, that's actually a pretty decent level for the water and everything too. I like that. That's good. Okay. Okay, and then we'll start dropping this. Now, should I do it a steep slope? No, I'm going to do a shallow slope. So let's use these ones. Okay, and then we've got these ones. And we got to drill that out. So at least this gives us a guide where we got to drill now, right? So it's it makes it easier once you start once you start clearing dirt off of concrete. That way you're not over drilling, wasting your time, biofuel, all that sort of stuff. should be able to just carry on with that without having to put blocks down. Yep, good. And we're going to have to drill that. And okay, critters should be out by now. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Are there any critters around here? There might not be any spawns right around here, so... We, we might act not actually even have to worry about our uh, our fence. Oh, I don't see anything spawned yet, but it doesn't necessarily mean there isn't. Let's keep doing this. Okay, so basically you can see now um, that I'm just going to keep, I'm going to keep digging away at this and I'm going to, I'm going to dig out this a bit more. Uh, I'm going to lay down a bit of a pad down there and get all this ingots spun up and put into the factory for my HV that I'm going to spawn in. So that'll be next episode is when I spawn in my HV. But for now, I think we will leave it off here. So there we go. We've succeeded. In getting past our first 24 hours, we've got enough ore, we've got enough food, and we've got enough levels because we actually hit level 5. And we've got our fence up in time. So the four things that I try to accomplish in the first 24 hours of gameplay is we get enough ore, we get enough levels, we get enough food, and we get a fence up. Those four things, if you can accomplish in the first 24 hours, will make your life a lot easier in the game. 
So there you have it, guys. First 24 hours done in the game, and I've accomplished those four tasks. Uh, I am currently level 5, zero kills, zero deaths, and we will see you guys next time on the next episode. And until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.